course, the big topic this past winter was the H1N1 virus. For more on this, we're joined in the studio by Udo Buchholz from Germany's Robert Koch Institute. That's the country's central government institute for disease prevention and control. Thank you very much for joining us. Usually the very old and the very young um, are at risk from influenza. Why were young and middle-aged people being so affected by the what we were calling the swine flu? Well, um, if we uh, um, differentiate between illness itself and severe illness or death, it is always like this that uh, the younger population is more affected with illness at all. Um, the, uh, the issue this time may have been that uh, uh, the elderly could have had uh, contact with this type of virus or similar type of virus uh, in their, when, when they were very, very young. Uh, so very few of them have, have been infected at all. And, but if they have been infected, they still had a very high risk of also dying of severe disease. Uh, and it is always like this that we observe it when we have pandemics that uh, a much larger proportion than usual uh, is heavily affected in the younger population. Now, the World Health Organization did classify this H1N1 variant that we saw this past winter as a pandemic. But in the end, the death toll was a lot smaller uh, than was expected. Was this blown out of proportion or did we just get lucky? Um, no, I think uh, if we use the term pandemic, it only means that it is a virus that causes disease and that spreads very quickly all over the world. And that has ob obviously ha happened also. Uh, and the, um, the issue is that uh, in fact, also our institute, we have expected, yes, uh, that the virus would, would be much more virulent or much more severe. Th this hasn't happened, but we have also reacted to this and have tried to reduce the measures as fast as, as that would have possible, as soon as we have seen that it is not as severe as, as we saw. So that is very, imp important, very important that we, that we uh, communicate very clearly and very honestly to, to, the, to the population what is going on and uh, what, what we can do. On the other hand, it's definitely not so that, that it is just a, a cold or, uh, because, um, as you know, people have died and also young people have died also with people that have not had underlying illnesses. So it is, uh, you have to communicate uh, very clearly. What do you think could uh, be improved in the way that authorities and ordinary people reacted to this crisis? Well, again, um, when I, when I uh, look on, on in our institute, I think what, what is in, important that we, that we improve the way we communicate. One, uh, one um, simple uh, rule is one person, one voice. That would have been much easier also for the public to see one person where always the message comes from. And again, uh, the, the message has to be clear. Another important issue is that, that we should have taken physicians uh, uh, earlier on board. So also there is not uh, different uh, messages coming from them. And if, when they are convinced what they have to say, they also tell it their patients. All right, Udo Buchholz, thank you so much for joining us here today. You're welcome. Well, a little